Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> It's a short one, Kim. You gotta got, keep it got short confused. and succinct. I have no idea what we're doing right this now. This is a trailer. Oh, hello. Mini Monday. Monday. Huh. And we're <laughs> gonna tell you about a trailer. <laughs> I sound like William Shatner. It was a great William Shatner impression, if you're not aware. <laughs> okay. Is that a cricket? Uh, fuck off. I have a very exciting trailer to tell, tell you. Tell me, about. tell me, tell me. It is one that is very near and dear to our hearts. Eek. And I am impressed based on the 30 second trailer who knows what the fuck they're going to do with it mm-hmm. i'm impressed with the direction that mm-hmm. it is going I'm it excited. is a three night television event <laughs> scream yay resurrection it starts tonight right oh snap very excited yeah so let's walk through the trailer And this is a quickie quick trailer. There's not a lot of like plot to be discerned from it. It's a montage type feel. So I'm just going to walk you through some snapshots Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to give you some questions at the end of it. Okay. So we have a Feruza Bulk type girl. Oh. Who, bitch, I love that bitch. Love. Walking through a school hallway at night saying, hello? Hello? And it appears to be deserted. Then we see a car in a cornfield, unable to start. Hello? We see a shot in the rear view mirror. Ghostface! <laughs> Cut to high school hallways, Halloween time, people in costumes. Who's going to kill me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in high school. It's also terrifying. <laughs> Then we have... That's the real horror. That's the real horror. Yeah, the question is just going to be about how do I get out of high school? <laughs> that's that's it. Then we see a gentleman standing uh, in the office of a high school, but it also appears to be deserted. And he's kind of like, what's... Like looking around like, what the fuck's going on? And at one point he just goes, son of a biscuit, <laughs> which I will now be saying for the rest of my life for Great. sure, 100%. Great. Then we have someone running through a dark hallway again. Then we have a high school dance party, a high school football game. Mary J. Blige is in it. Oh, shit. Fucking Queen B. We also have Tyga. Do you know okay. who Tyga is? Yes, I yeah. do. He's also in it. He's got a little cameo. And then we have the voice that we know so well. I'm curious about who you are on the inside. Stab! so it looks fucking awesome fun the scream the ghost face is the ghost face that we know yes thankfully paris jackson is also in it wow yeah i follow her on instagram she is just some sort of zen buddha light lady and i don't understand how her eyes are so blue that they're white (laughs) it's just but she's in it and she appears to be from what i can tell the tatum character okay, okay, yes. because she's the one who at one point in the trailer opens up the door the doorbell rings she opens up the door and it's ghost face and she says what are you supposed to be <laughs> and then we can presume that she's murdered so but, here's my question for okay. you okay this can be at any point in your life this can <sighs> be either while people have just been murdered in your town mm-hmm. or just right now You are home alone, Halloween or not. (laughs) Someone rings the doorbell and you open it. Right. And they have a mask on. No. Nope. Nope. What do you do? I nope out of there. How do you nope out? I want to hear how you nope out because first of all, do you open the door first of all? Well, that's what I was just going to say. First of all, I have a a looky-loo. A door, do you have an actual door pokey? Do I have a look door? Look? I, I just looked over look. and you don't. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 I'm just never opening the well, door. Well, this is again. different then. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm like, at this point, no one ever knocks on my door. Right. So if someone's knocking like, on your door, that's it's already suspicious. Weird. Yeah. It's yeah. already weird. So <laughs> there's like comedians who make jokes about that where it's like, <laughs> 15 20 years ago someone knocks on the door and everyone's excited they're like who is it? who's at the door we've got company bring out the cakes i got some tasty cakes brids company company's a, here we've got company for my daughter Ooh. and now someone knocks on the door everyone's like shh, 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 turn the lights up don't 
Don't move. That's so we're not home. True. It's the same with the f- phone, phone calls. calls. I'm yeah. like w- insulted when someone calls me. I'm like, why are you calling me right now? Just text me. It's either a telemarketer a hundred, or oh the most serious emergency I could ever conjure within yeah. my mind. Yeah. Or the person on the other end is clearly insane because why did they why dial did you my call number? Me? I'm so with you. Basically, it's the same for door opening. I agree. So I'm not even attempting to open the door without looking through my hole first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay, so let's I say... I look out with my hole, through my hole, the power of my hole. Now, let's say... Let's let's get crazy here. Let's say... <laughs> oh, God, it's fireworks. <laughs> I fucking hate fireworks, man. God oh damn God, it. That scared me. Okay, let's say you do open the door for some reason. Maybe you're expecting okay. Postmates okay. or something like that. Let's yeah. even say it's Halloween. And let's even say you're having a Halloween party. Okay. 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 Someone comes to the door and your first guest is someone with a fucking mask on. But I'm having a Halloween party? You are having a Halloween party. Well, that changes things. Then I'm like, hey, but people who have been, are you? But people have been murdered in your town. Oh. <laughs> then I'm not having a Halloween party. I mean, yeah, I'm not having a <laughs> Halloween party if, if they're having people been murdered in my town if it's serial town then no serial t- but also like i'm personally i have a little bit of a fear of interacting with mascots you and do masked you have a thing people <laughs> so in general i'm uncomfortable in general if you are coming to my home in a mask even on halloween i would like you to be accompanied by someone that i know that is unmasked because that's your sort of ticket to security that I know you're not going to kill me or just maskless in general. I just, or tell me that you're coming in a mask. I just don't like the idea of like not being able to read facial cues and not being able to tell like who this person is and if they're going to kill me. So I guess what I'm saying is you're all invited to my next Halloween party. No masks allowed. (laughs) Sounds fun. Yeah. Doesn't it? There's so many costumes you can do without a mask. Don't even bullshit me, Burns. I'm, only showing up to your house with a mask on from this point forward. Please don't. Nope. It scares me. I would That's be able to plan. identify you from your hands anyway. Because <laughs> their beauty shines through no matter what. Yeah. And then here's my next question. Oh, there's more. This is more just like an inquiry because I'm curious. Why in the ever living fuck is anyone ever walking through their high school hallways alone when it's dark? I don't know. Can you explain that to me? Let me think. In the dark? It was dark. Like dark outside or dark in the hallways? Both. It was like in the, tra- I'm only basing it on the trailer. It was like this eerie blue light. Like there's been times where I've been in school when it's closed, you know, for like a performance or something like that. So like not a lot of people are there. Mm-hmm. So maybe if you have like, you're like, oh, I have to go get something from my locker kind of thing. I, I, I but wouldn't like, go. Yeah. I wouldn't go. It's too weird. It's like... It's creepy. It's too creepy. It's like to be in a hallway that's supposed to sort of be bustling and then to walk down it in the dark when it's deserted already gives me... Creeps. Creepazoids. Yeah. I don't... Creep, creep. I don't want to do it. So yeah, that's the Scream trailer. I'm excited. I'm really excited. It looks really good. And it looks like... So obviously it's a remake of a classic. So like that's always going to be be something that people are going to be super critical of. Is it a of. remake? Not a remake, but like it's paying homage to a very classic original. Right. Yeah. So I feel like that's always going to create an environment where people are going to be extra fucking critical. Mm-hmm. But what I got from this trailer is like they paid proper homage to the things that we loved about it, mm. but it seemed to have a different enough vibe and a different enough look that it was like, we're making this for today's generation, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That does make sense. Even like the casting is far more diverse. And they were able to get the mask. I don't know they why the able- mask was like not allowed to be used. I'm sure it's just whatever rights and things like that. But was that a thing? It wasn't allowed to be Yeah, because this is like part three of like a Scream TV thing. Like it was on MTV for like, it was like a TV show like on MTV for like two In years. Like 2015. But it was like a weird mask. It was oh. something different. Like I guess yeah. for whatever reason they couldn't use the actual mask. Right. And so then this changed. It's like a new network and a new thing. And so 
variable like everyone was like they're using the actual mask so therefore it will be better like just that in itself there everyone's like we're more on board just because of that fact exactly yeah that's so so i didn't realize that yeah because when i was searching for the trailer the one that came up first was like from 2015 and i was like i don't know yeah and wasn't a weird mask face yeah i was like what the fuck is this yeah oh okay so So that's really interesting but yeah the vibe i would say the vibe of the trailer very reminiscent very reminiscent of the vibe that we loved from the original live her alone so hot beer's here speaking of beer yeah let's go drink some great cool goodbye this has been kim and kat stay alive maybe we'll see you on wednesday wednesday Bye. bye Ghosted me. I'm I'm done. done.